Welcome back, dear viewers. After this interesting introduction, we are glad to have with us today Captain Abdelaziz Israel, pilot instructor and commercial pilot. Definitely, we are would like to welcome you, uh, Pilot Abdelaziz, and uh, it's really a pleasure to have you. And good morning, Kuwait. Good morning. And you know, honestly, this is uh, somehow rare, huh? <laughs> to have a pilot, you know, uh, here in the studio. Uh, I mean, I, I want to go more into details, but you know, let's uh, off the bat, you know, tell us about you know uh, being a pilot. Is it really, really tough? Is it really hard? Is it? I mean, it <clears throat> takes more effort, you know, to, to, to get, uh, does it need skills? Does it need this brilliant brain? Good morning, everybody. Uh, so maybe this word will not, uh, some people will not uh, agree <laughs> like with me, it. but I always <laughs> said okay. uh, flying an aircraft is easier than driving the vehicle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's very easy. That's uh, Going back to, to, to the rules or the regulation, from the ICAO to be a pilot, you need three things. You have strong English, okay. you pass the medical, you're age 17 and above. Okay. That's it. That's Does it does not need any certificate. Wow, so you don't have to be a, a scientist or <laughs> at all. <laughs> or expert or whatever. Just at all. do the homework and That's you'll it. be a pilot. That's it. So and you are a pilot now. Um, certified, you have the license, everything. I am everything. certified, yeah. So, uh, Tell us, uh, why are the passionate, you know, uh, about aviation? Why, you know, and it is uh, a profession or a hobby for you? Uh, I believe number one is genetic, because okay. of my father. He used to work in Kuwait Airways as, okay, a, as an so engineer. Okay, so your father was pilot. Amazing. Uh, he was an engineer there. Okay. So I used to go in with the him. early 90s, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, with him to the work. And uh, after that, uh, the passion is still there, but I couldn't. For sure, pursue it, yeah. pursue it is because of my uh, sight. Yeah. So, get to the engineering, mm -hmm. get my bachelor degree, and then after that, started my my uh, my passion. That's amazing. It is amazing. Yes, and uh, I was just going to ask. Uh, so, uh, your profession is an engineer. Yes. Uh, mechanical engineer. Yes. Okay, and then your passion is flying around. Yes. It's amazing to yeah, say so my passion is to fly an aircraft. Combining, you know, uh, being a pilot and engineer in the same time that helps, you know, both yeah. being an engineer and especially mechanical. Definitely, yes. it helps you and uh, a lot. You know, yes. piloting the the aircraft. Airplane. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that, that's really amazing. So you see, that's how you know I felt. It's not like, you know, uh, a nuclear science, uh, Fatima. Because yes. if you are working and, you know, during work you accomplished uh, your pilot license. So, which means, you know, anybody can do it. If you would, you could. And if you wouldn't, you couldn't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bravo. Wow, I love Bravo. that. So I like that. So that's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mashallah. I'm <laughs> philosopher. <laughs> 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 That's and uh, uh, Abdelaziz, also, we want to ask, uh, how did the hobby become a passion and love for educational uh, attainment uh, in the field of aviation and training? And of course, what is your role uh, when it comes to training in the world of aviation? Studying my, uh, when I was studying for my engineering, uh, I, I saw that I like teaching and educating people, instructing people. Uh, so this comes to when I finished my third license, which is commercial pilot, I continue to the instructor, instrument rating instructor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then advanced instructor. Okay. I just took it just, just like that. I d there was no plan to, to instruct on anything. So okay. after that, no, the idea came uh, after, after having a conversation with uh, one of my colleagues, uh, um, consultation, business consultation, which is Dr. Uh, Mohammed al mm -hmm. Um and then he said, go ahead and, and start educating people. Right. People, they don't know that there is something called general aviation. So when okay. we said general aviation is all the flights in the world is general aviation, excluding airline. And, and I want to pass this culture. I want to show people this culture that is, that is in US or in, in, in Europe. You can own your aircraft and go away. So, so Enjoy. for every general aviation, yeah. general, general aviation, aviation, they call it. So, for everyone who has a passion in the world of aviation, 
what do you advise him at the beginning of his journey in this magical world? And what types of training will he undergo? I don't want you to be sad, but uh, the, the, the worst source to get the information about aviation is Duania. Absolutely. Why I am telling you that? Uh -huh. I'm receiving <coughs> daily calls, a lot of false information mm -hmm. from, from, from parents, from, from uh, student pilots. They're getting a lot. Actually, they demotivate them. Completely. Yeah, absolutely. Makes completely. you depressed more. <laughs> they are broken. Yeah. He said, I right. cannot pursue. Uh -huh. So. Okay. Interesting. And uh, there's also an, another interesting fact, because my sister flies, uh, uh, she is a, a pilot, not a commercial pilot, wow. but she flies Private like pilot. a, yeah. Really? It's, yes, That's amazing. That. And uh, she told me, of course, the first thing I had, had to ask her, did it help you with the fear of yeah. flying? Did, did you overcome the fear of flying? And she said, yes, because you know all the technology behind it. You know all the process behind flying an airplane. And did that help you to understand more what, you know, because we have irrational fears of flying sometimes. So you, does it help? You helped me with something last interview. Uh, I, I said, uh, if you have phobia, then cure it with the flying. And then they said, how come you can cure it with the flying? Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so if somebody has a phobia, we call it aerophobia, he needs to know all the details happening before the takeoff, during the takeoff, okay. cruising, landing, and everything. Mm -hmm. Studying, uh, uh, being a pilot, for sure, you will, you will learn all of that, and you will dig deep and deep and deep, and this will help, of course, to remove the fear. Wow. Actually, uh, you can absolutely. shut down even the engine while flying and yeah. just... Uh, yes, they like did that to her, yes. Yeah, yeah it's uh, part of the training. Yeah, that's true. So uh, we we mentioned uh, uh, God bless him, uh, Kennedy the junior, junior, okay, and uh, when he when he, he fall and with his plane, you know, it was a small plane. So you said mostly uh, human error. Most of the accident happened, unfortunately, is because of a human factor. A human error. It's human not the, the engine or rarely. There is a statistics in ACAO and, and, and FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. Okay. Um, it's mostly number one is a human factor. So, yeah, I, I have a question. You know, my, my director asked me just now, you know. Shoot. He said, what's your feeling when you are flying there, when you are up there in the sky? What do you feel, Abdelaziz? Sometime I have a stomach ache. Really? Sometime. Okay. But when I enter the aircraft, yeah. it completely disappears. No way. Completely disappears. It's like a medicine. Completely. Wow. Like, like nothing. And then when I come oh, back and land. That's a video. Yeah. Uh, oh, this was wow. one of the amazing uh, trips. So that's, that's you, Adrazi? Yes. It was solo. It was uh, the duration of the flight was three days to, to pick up an aircraft brand new from Technum. Uh, manufacturer in Italy okay all the way to Saudi Arabia to my uh, to my school wow. okay yeah so I went from Italy Greece Marsa Matruh oh uh, so you went down or every time or down, no okay. just just once one okay. one trip one trip so okay. I took one trip to Italy and mm -hmm. one trip from Jeddah to Kuwait wow and Kuwait is down. landing as difficult as they say, because they say taking off or landing are the most difficult there parts. Is challenge, there is a challenge, but it depends if you like the challenge or not. For okay. me, I, I enjoy landing. It's okay. challenging. It's interesting. You know, sometimes we see these uh, social media, you know, broadcasts, you know, about some airplanes trying to come down, you know, the, to land, and then all of a sudden they go, go up. And, this approach, yeah. and there is this wind, you know, uh, Huge yes, wind. heavy wind that so prevents that them from landing. So would that be a factor? This is the one wind? of the factors. They call it uh, shear wind. Shear and wind. Usually, it happens uh, within within a small radius of the of the, the airport. So shear wind means the wind is coming to the opposite direction, okay. like like a, like a Caesar. Okay. So that try to well, so you see unbalance. the aircraft. Yeah. Okay, so is this one of the things that makes flying a difficult profession, or what makes it a difficult profession? <coughs> okay, back to the to yeah, what I said he, before. He, That's he number one. Yeah. He said it's not difficult. It's it's not difficult. <coughs> so it depends. It depends if you want to be a pilot, a pilot. or not. Okay. Sometimes the family will push their child 
to be a pilot. Mm -hmm. So and and I saw that to be honest during my consultation, some family they are pushing. I want to see my uh, son son to be a pilot. A pilot. Maybe course. he doesn't want. Maybe he won't. exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what will happen? She will pay or he will pay the father, and. Uh, they will not. They will not be able to. to because to there's no passion pass. behind it. There is no passion. That's like becoming, let's say, uh, a lawyer, or yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you have and, to be, and, become and passionate. Like nowadays, a lot of people, a lot of families ask this, you know, kids to go to the med medical school. Yes. You know, yes, being also. a doctor, and yeah. you know, he's not into that. But you know, yes. Okay, daddy, I'll go, and then yeah. failing, failing, failing. Yes. So that's yeah. exactly. Exactly. Okay. And you and need to be independent, and you need to take the responsibility because you will have multiple trips during mm -hmm. the day, so mm -hmm. you need to be on time, otherwise you will lose the money. Okay, uh -huh. I see. So uh, could you please tell us about the most important types of license uh, in the world of aviation, or the prominent uh, aspects of uh, difference? In general, uh, in general, it's starting with the private, light sport. Okay, that's number one. And then we'll go, we'll start with the private pilot license, PPL. Mm -hmm. After that, there is an instrument rating, Mm -hmm. It's part or add-on to the PPL. PPL. So in an instrument rating, you will be able to fly during, uh, let's say, uh, meteorological conditions, okay. rain, uh, yeah. fog, and all of that. After that, you, ha you will have the commercial pilot license. Commercial pilot license is just you can fly uh, carrying passenger, mm -hmm. and you can get from them money. Okay. PPL, you can do that, but you cannot get money from them. Uh-huh. So you do it for free? For you do it for free. Okay. So uh, you, you do, do you have this uh, commercial flight license or not yet? I have the commercial. Oh, really? Commercial, yes. So you, now you could also apply for uh, Kuwait or Airways? It's not straightforward. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I mean, you could basically yes. pilot, you know, a 727 or uh, the Airbus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to join the airline, you need to go through the training program they yeah, have. They're, they're there will train. be ground school, which is the theoretical part, and mm -hmm. then you will go to the simulator, and then you graduate from the simulator. You will become rated in, let's say, 727 or 320. Okay. Airbus. And then after that, you will be back seat okay. for a oh, few trips. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then after that, you will be on the right seat. So there is a so bit of journey, but it's there is a bit of journey. Yes. So yeah. is it uh, also you have to get promoted? Is that how it is? It's because all promotion. I'm yeah. Okay. So then you you can become the pilot assistant. Exactly. And then the pilot of the aircraft. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And it's uh, it's interesting to say I know a pilot. You know, I, I know that <laughs> yeah. he's not going to fly me somewhere, yeah. but you know, we know a my pilot. Friend is, is a pilot. Yeah, <laughs> my friend is a pilot. My friend is a pilot. Yes. Uh, yeah. So tell me uh, socially, what's the impact of that? I you? wasn't expecting this uh, this impact to be honest. Really, but I can see this. I mean, here in Kuwait, they are so. Uh, they want to learn more about aviation. So they, they admire. Really, they uh, are really. They, they really want to learn more. There is a lot of people who want to buy their own aircraft mm -hmm. and and keep it outside. Do you think in Kuwait we are capable? Because do we have the facility for that, like the mm -hmm. states or UK? We have the facility, but uh, it's difficult here in Kuwait. It's difficult. difficult. Uh, it's uh, costly. Security reason? Costly. Or? It's very costly. Costly, okay. Mm, it's very costly. Uh -huh. So imagine a lot of planes, you know, going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. So you have the pilots, for example, in Saudi Arabia and Qatar and uh, UAE. What they do, they take like two weeks vacation during the summer. Okay. All of them, every person with his uh, own aircraft, they go all the way to Europe. Oh, they from land the Gulf to Europe? Sharm el-Sheikh, they land, they land in Greece, Italy, France, and then back uh -huh. Egypt. So there are s special airports for uh, those small... No, no, it's, no, no, it's the same. The normal airport. one. The normal, the normal okay, one. Okay, the regular ones. The regular one with the propeller, either, either single or multi, twin. Okay. Oh, wow. Twin engine, yeah. And uh, that's for the commercial uh, air aircrafts? Uh, they don't have CPL. Non, not all of them. They have CPL. No. Some of them they have the first license only. Okay. Yeah. And they go during those two weeks. They fly and then. It's like a trip, picnic. That's interesting. That's nice. I know. It's <laughs> beautiful. That's amazing. So and we don't have that here. So you have. Uh, sorry, Fatma. Do yeah. you have the route? Is memorized by the computer not, and. Uh, maybe you can memorize it, but at the end you need to send it to to, to the. I mean. 
government to the radar and they have to approve yeah. it. Otherwise, they will give you the alternative routes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh -huh. And I also have another question. I know this is not one of the questions that we have here for you today, but mm -hmm. I've seen pilots and on big aircrafts that go, you know, they do the goodbye, the wave yes. after they retire, or is this their last trip? And then they say the goodbye. Isn't it scary for the passengers if they don't know this is, what that this is? This is, I think, when you take the airplane from the uh, manufacturer, Oh, is it? Yeah. Is that, it's a wave, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's like a hello or you know, goodbye I'll tell or you, something. I'll tell you the goodbye. story. Okay. You know, once I was with the Airways, you know, delegation, and uh, we went to Hamburg, okay, yeah. to bring the Airbus, the new Airbus. And I had no clue whatsoever. And you know, we are with the TV, you know, it's a duty. Anyway, uh, we were chatting, you know, about the seats. Oh, beautiful seats and that, you know. We are in a, uh, in a, on an air, okay? And then all of a sudden it goes like this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I could only Abdel imagine. Aziz, I, 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 I felt, you know, what the hell? This is a new airplane. And, <laughs> and, and we are, you know, shaking like, you know, a bird. You know, honestly, uh, you should see my face, you know. But... Uh, everybody was laughing because you know I had no clue and they said no this is like a sign saying thank you for that yes. Uh, yes. anyway Abdul Aziz thank unfortunately you, you know uh, it's really interesting you know to have a co this conversation thank with you, you. and uh, but unfortunately you know we are have out time of time yeah. yes. so thank you very much our pilot thank you, thank you, thank you very much thank, thank, you, Aziz. thank you anyway what do we have next uh, yes next uh, dear viewers we have a break and we'll come back after this break